Muslims living in this day and age, we don't have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm guaranteeing you this. Our trust is not in Allah. Our trust is in the Benjamin, in the dollar, in the government, Centrelink, especially us living in the West. <laughs> People living in Syria now have their trust in whom? In Allah. Because they're going through hardship and they're feeling hardship. But us people who are living a cushy life, a nice life, an easy life, we wouldn't have a clue what trust means. Because Akhid, seriously, here, out of the brothers, who's worried if they get fired? Honestly. Aren't you going to eat tomorrow? Yes. Aren't you going to drink tomorrow? Yes. Aren't you going to pay your rent tomorrow? Yes. So your trust is not really dependent upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to start changing these things in our hearts so that we can be become, uh, become more successful. We want to become more dependent upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We truly want to connect. But the only time we feel it is when a calamity hits us. You find that your wife is doing something wrong. You find that your child is doing something wrong. Allah may hit you with a sickness. Then the first thing we do, Oh Allah. Oh Allah, please. I can't handle this. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu he said about what? And he's talking about the companions. Innakum kawman tasta'ajirun. Verily you are a people who are hasty and the companions were going through hell. And the Prophet sallallahu said to them what? There were people who came before you. They believed in Allah, these people. Muwahideen. They were sawn in half. They were sawn into two pieces. And their insides were raked out with metal combs. But this didn't put them off their religion. This torture, this, I mean, these trials that they went through, didn't put them off what? The deen of Islam. And we just get tested a little bit. And you find out our beads are gone. The hijab comes off. Our, you know, our clothes become tighter. The makeup for the sisters to become more and perfume and all this. I can't handle this religion. It's too hard. Next thing you find out, we stop our prayer. You know, I'll pray when I get home. Then after that, what happens? You miss this one. You miss that one to a point where we disbelieve in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And don't tell me you don't know someone who's in this situation. Don't tell me that one of your family members are not in this situation. We are losing our souls because we have too much. Anyone argue the point with me? We are losing our souls because we have too much. Give